the XJ is still down. So we're driving around in the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. Just got us to this hiking spot. So look at that. It's closed to all motor vehicles. So we're going to have to go on foot from here. So there you go. All right. No, that's enough of that. So now you're going to watch me walk around in the woods here. We're going to get a 12-gauge shell. Check it out. Nice. All right. Well, that's that. It's cold. It's like 30 and windy. So here goes. On the back. So here we go. These are the, uh, I don't know what those are. These big, big frozen rocks on this ridge here. That's a big boulder there. Check that thing out. I might need a closer look. So check that thing out. Uh, you're telling me these rocks just all like appeared here from glaciers or something? Is that the idea? Look at that thing. Check it out. It's pretty sweet. I think that thing weighs, huh? It's probably like 10, 15 feet high. Same width. What it's made out of. Yeah, there you go. Back to the boulder. All right. Looks like I'm hungover today, but I'm not hungover. Perhaps getting no sleep the previous day has nothing to do with that. I had a road trip early in the morning, so I didn't get any sleep. So, if I was hungover, I'd know why I feel like this. But, uh, it's kind of dark here in the summer, so while we're here this time of year, at least you can sort of see where you're going. So, uh, there you go. This is um, another trail people mountain bike on, which is not easy to do. It's all ruts, roots. Ruts, roots, and rocks. All right, that's it for now. Keep moving along here. Now, maybe I need to do a channel just devoted to rocks. I kind of feel like I missed my calling as a geologist. I mean, check that thing out. It's one big ass rock. Let's see how we're going to walk up it without. Yeah. Without, uh, Falling down, hitting my head on it. Look at that thing. That's cool. It's pretty big. It's the size of like a bulldozer. Okay, all right. Now, still going up here. Going up's easy. Coming down on this stuff is when you start to slip and break your head open. So. And just keep going up until it's no longer something you want to do. There you go. All right. oh, we got a little switchback. That means it's steep. All right, it's out for, it's not out for now. So here we go. This was the uh, pretty much. I think we're at the top now. So um, yeah, look at that. We have some mountain bikers that came through here. I'm thinking they're all dentists. But now they're working their own teeth. Because uh, you know, whenever I ride my bike in this kind of weather, in a patch of black ice, it's going to end well. So, that's my guess. Anyway, all right, well that's it. Apparently we made it to the apex of this summit. And as in all hiking trails in Connecticut, there is no vista where you can see anything, but you are at the top. You just don't know you're at the top. You can't look out at the expanse. 
Anyhow, all right, well, that's it. I'll let me show you that. So, there'll be more of this video, I'm sure, at some point. That's it for now. All right, so we're on the other side of this little knob here, and now we're in the Mount Laurel section of the trail. So, there you go, now we're kind of winding around counterclockwise to where we started. There goes nothing. This is the super wide action mode. Remember what that means. The linear mode is okay, but the uh, The wide mode, but it's kind of weird too sometimes. So, yeah, I'll turn this off. All right, I don't know if you can mix modes in video. I wish you can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I thought I could turn this into another rat boot review. These are the E163 Gore Tex rat boots by Welco. Um, I think these are 10 and a half wide, which isn't big enough because they put that Gore-Tex booty in there and then it makes them really tight so they're not exactly super comfortable so whatever you normally wear get them at least a half size bigger but this pair I don't wear much because they're not very comfortable but these are the E163 oh yeah a little bit of fraying there E163 Welco Rats it's the best part of these boots is the sole. Pretty sweet. It's going to be a sad day when they stop making rat boots. So, uh, buy as many of them as you can as long as they're around. That's what I did. All right, well, that's a quick rat boot review, baby. All right. I'm going to continue onward. <laughs>